Hello, my name is Kate Clark. I am the Director of Programming for Madeline Island School of the Arts. And today I have joining me three incredible modern quilters, Tara Fonin, Sarah Bond, and Maria Schell. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. And we are here to discuss their upcoming workshop on Madeline Island. It's gonna be five full days of Medallion Madness, September 26th through the 30th. So ladies, thank you for joining me. It's a and pleasure. I'm excited to just learn a little bit more about the workshop week and what students should anticipate. Yay. Well, Sarah and Tara and I have been meeting monthly, crafting um, a week long adventure. We, there's sort of two umbrella concepts. One of them is piecing perspectives. You're gonna get the perspectives on piecing from all three of us, which are different. And the idea of taking uh, and making a medallion quilt. And within the medallion quilt, we're gonna be looking at curves, pointy shapes, also known as triangles, and line and square or rectangle, right? So each of us will give you our perspective on those things and you'd be it's like a it's kind of crazy the uh the ways that we connect and the ways that we move in different directions we're also going to cover color lots of information about color and then i think of it kind of as an a la carte experience you can um as a student you could decide you want to work with curves in the way i do you're going to decide you might work with triangles the way Sarah does, and you might work with color the way that Tara does. And then it's going to be all stirred up and we're going to see some amazing magic. It's a smorgasbord. I love the food analogy. It's always a good analogy. For me. Always. Yeah. Just your descri you're describing it, uh, Maria, made me really excited. I was like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, yes. Yeah, it is going to be, it's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, it sounds wonderful. And will students be able to work with each of you independently, one on one? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yes, um, we definitely plan on on being available to anyone at any time. Um, and and one of the things that we're really excited about is to be able to um, co-teach rather than like you're going to funnel through Sarah and then you're going to funnel through Maria, but like mm -hmm. to teach the group as you know, all three of us together. And, and I think that that's a really unique and exciting opportunity for us and for the students. Yeah, we're gonna hear, all, like for example, each of us are gonna share information about color. And then I guess color might not be the best example. Let's try triangles. So each of us will give sort of a, a mini lecture on triangles. And then we're all, all gonna be doing demos which you can visit with us. And then when we're not demoing or lecturing we're gonna be working the room and talking to each of you as needed. So yeah, you'll have lots of one-on-one -on -one time. Great. Definitely. Great, definitely. And one of the things, I mean, I'm really excited about this also um, because as with food, um, sometimes the best adventures you have is when you put a bunch of things together, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to one place and you just get this one kind or you go to another place, but here's an opportunity to have all of the favorite things on the same plate. That's great, great. Kind of like a culinary fusion, would you say, Sarah? <laughs> Very much. Well, I've been All telling you yeah, I've been telling my students that this may well be a once in a lifetime experience. Where do you get like the three? I mean, that's part of why we're excited is that the three of us get to sort of brain mail, meld and all of the students get to benefit from that. It's gonna be yeah. It's going to be wonderful. And I know that you've been dedicated to connecting um, monthly about this workshop. So I, I can't wait to, it's a great opportunity for students. Um, I can't wait to see what they create based on what I know from each of you separately and together. So is that what's behind you? Oh. <laughs> uh, senior graduating. <laughs> um, I just have to say that one of the things that um, I have loved about our getting together, um, because I have focused when I've been thinking about this in the ways um, that we're different, um, mm -hmm. but in, in talking with each other and going through process about how to put these things together and about how we create and how we um, you know, design, 
Mm-hmm. I have found that there's a lot of similarities that I didn't realize that we had. And I, that's, it, it's been really, really fun. And I mean, that tells me that the students are going to have a great time. Mm-hmm. Have yeah. the three of you worked, met in person yet? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Several times? Well, a yeah. couple times. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Um, Okay, and can we talk a little bit about materials? What should students plan to bring? How can they be prepared? What will they need? A ton of fabric. <laughs> well, I all yeah, I mean, bring as much fabric as you can. And I don't know, we haven't really talked about solids versus prints. I think we all work a lot in solids, but I'm, I'm a big fan of people working from their stash. So if you have tonals or, yeah. um, fabrics that read like solids to bring those and we will work with what you have but the idea would be to bring a variety Mm -hmm. of colors values and I would say intensities you know Mm. your your bright colors and your dull colors we want to mix it up another quilting I mean cooking Mm -hmm. concept (laughs) Yeah, I mean, the more the more the merrier in my mind, as far as fabrics, especially when you have the three of us getting together who all love to play with color right? in very distinct ways. It's up to you as a student, like it's up to every all the students to decide what they want to bring. But I would suggest if you want to get the most out of working with color, the more you can bring the more opportunities you have to go in a different direction, because how many times do you start a class or start a project and you're like, these are the colors I'm using and this is what I'm gonna do. And then, you know, you're going 180 degrees in the opposite direction. So the more you have, the more freedom you have to move in the direction that you end up, you know, finding yourself in on day two, right? Um, Might be different. And I would like to, you know, say also, um, solids are great. And like, if you looked at the two quilts on the wall behind you, you you might think that those were made by two entirely different people. but I'm really, I love color, but I also really love uh, grayscale mm-hmm. and neutrals. So if that's something that you like, you can really bring that. I'm just going to flip to my uh, other camera and just say also that I really, um, I'm very fond of putting lots of things together, right? So I love a little stripe. I could work all with a bunch of solids, but that little stripe, you know, <laughs> just, oh, it just really, you know, gives it a kick. And here I have some prints um going in together with some solids and with a stripe so there are lots of different ways and even if you look at um you know for instance maria's wall and my wall um even though our compositions you know and our the elements that we're working with or units that we're working with um look different um one of the things that's similar about them is that you can take a little bit of color. You might not have a whole lot of a particular color, but if you take a little bit of that color and you mix it in in various places, it can have a lot of impact. So even if you don't have, you know, vast yardage of a hundred different colors, if you have enough smaller pieces, which, you know, makes it a little bit easier to pack and transport, you can still get a lot of bang for your buck with, you know, smaller pieces of fabric. Absolutely. Value is really what, what's the most important. And the rest of the sewing supplies are, are kind of basic sewing supplies that you should have on hand with a few, you know, I'm going to suggest you bring a glue stick, right? Like there's a few <laughs> special things, but they're basic sewing supplies aside from the fabric. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I would love to talk location. So I know Maria has been to Madeline Island and Sarah and Tara, this will be your first time. Um, but it is located on Lake Superior in Northern Wisconsin. And it's a very eclectic, sweet, charming location. Um, our studios are all sunlit, very large. We're gonna have design boards for everyone. People are gonna have plenty of space to, you know, put their fabric anywhere they want, (laughs) enjoy um, 24 hour access, which is really nice. Some of our quilters love to get up early. Some love to stay late and all dinners will be on campus. So um, family style with wine and a lot of chit chat and a lot of time spent together. So I was hoping to just hear from the three of you, like Maria, what are you excited to experience returning? And Sarah and Tara, what are you excited to experience your first time? 
Yeah, well, it is a primo location. Um, we, it's just, and it's beautiful. There are bikes there that you could take a go for a bike ride, or if you if you like to get outside, there's great places to walk. And uh, the island's really special. But the facility itself, like the the food, very good, and the um, just like where you're living in the studio space. And I, you know, when I was there last time, I would go to bed. Right, I'm not a student, and I would look out and I could see that the lights were still on and people uh -huh. were still in there stitching. So it is really nice to be able to go to the classroom, work, then go to eat lunch, come back, maybe go to your room and take a nap if you want to. You don't ever have to leave the campus. And uh -huh. it's just a really productive, uh, just a really good vibe, uh, uh -huh. the space, the whole thing. It's, yeah, yeah. It's good. Well, I would say I'm, number one, I'm excited. I've been back in the actual classroom. We did, we all did a lot of virtual classroom mm -hmm. um, work over the, the um, COVID situation. Um, I'm excited to get in the classroom with people. I'd love to be in the classroom with quilters. I'm excited to be there with these quilters. And, um, you know, I just, I'm sure it's beautiful and I am, and that's great, but mostly I'm excited about um, being in a new place with new quilters and seeing what we create. Yeah, making new relationships, new friendships. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited about all of that and the setting. And I think that, you know, for me, one of the things that I really enjoyed in the few, um, you know, longer retreats that I've done is when you're in a beautiful setting, it's so recharging and rejuvenating. So you can like mm -hmm. sew all day, go out and take a gorgeous walk and then come back. And then after five days, what I love is, is like, you have like all of these new friends that you feel so connected with and that, you know, that's really, that's really special. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then I'm just so, you know, I said it before, but, but just in our conversations that, that Maria and Sarah and I have been having my mind's already expanded and that is part of like the process of being a student and so I think that it's so special that as a teacher like I get to hear these other perspectives and learn and though I won't be sewing or making a medallion quilt during those five days my mind I love hearing other perspectives and having my mind opened and then seeing what students do like I'm always blown away by what you know I give direction and they go off somewhere totally different because in their head that's how they see it and so I'm just excited about the whole the whole damn thing yeah good and well as far as the itinerary will you be giving lectures and demos how will the the workshop day look has that been <laughs> finalized yet or <laughs> I, know, I feel like uh, there was, I once taught a quilt class, um, and every, I was doing my little introduction. And then after I stopped talking, everyone laughed and I'm like, why are you laughing at me? And I said, well, you sound like Julie from the love boat. Like I, because I put on my little, like, this mm -hmm. is what we're going to do. So we have a schedule. Um, primarily we're going to start with lectures and then we're going to move into demos. And then we're going to have, I call it sign up for chat. Sarah and Tara might call it something different, but basically you'll be able to connect with each of us one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I typically work with a list. Um, and then if no one's on the list, I will move around the room and just chat with people. And I, I always say, I think Sarah and Tara would probably agree. If you don't want to talk about your quilt, that's fine. We can talk about something else. I just, like Tara was saying, that connection with people and it is, and as Tara was saying that, I was thinking about how and, and an event like this is such a recharge. Like if you get to spend a week focused <clears throat> on quilt making, that can carry you a way, a long, long time into the future as far as creative energy is concerned. But mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll have a schedule. The schedule is actually listed on the website. If you go to the website and uh, click on our workshop, you can scroll down and see sort of how we've got things organized. Perfect. Okay. Week. okay. Yeah, so any potential students can find the workshop at madelineartschool.com and um, under workshop tab and quilting, you will see it listed. And yeah, and there's, um, there's a lot of information about the island, about registrations, all those details. Yep. And I would just like to, you know, encourage people, this is 
possibly a once in a lifetime um, opportunity. And yeah. if you haven't quite ventured out yet, um, it's great out there. Yes, it's, out there. <laughs> it's good out there. Well, in this environment is um, the, actually Madeline Island was the first place I taught after sort of things mm. like last September. And you do feel um, very safe. It's a small, you know, it's a small group of people and um, yeah, the things are well ventilated and it just, it does feel really good. And I, another thing I want to point out that don't be like, you look at it, it's Madeline Island. It's on an Island. How am I going to get there? It, that whole system is laid out. And if you just look online there, um, you fly in a plane and then you're going to get on a shuttle and then you get on a ferry and it is planes, trains, automobiles, whatever. But when you get there, it's magical. And yeah. so um, it's worth it. The trip is, it's pretty cool actually to take a and story. Our, our registrar is excellent at helping students with that process. And the ferry ride is, um, it's very idyllic and it is short. It's only about 15 minutes. So um, the island is not as far away from the mainland as I think some people assume. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, we're always here to help with those questions though as well. And the Duluth airport is only about two hours from where you board the ferry. So it is a pretty short trip. Yeah, wonderful. Great, okay. All well, right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for taking the time and talking everything over and I will be there as well. So I can't wait for September. Me neither. I'm really right. Bye everyone. Come join us. It's going to be yeah, fun. Thank you. Take care. Peace.